Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara and today we are here for another project pan video. This is my lipstick project pan update, third video, second update about this particular panning series. Last week I also uploaded another project pan related video. That was my graveyard project pan. So if you love panning content, obviously I've got a lot of it on this channel. So make sure to check that out. I will link it here. Also, if you missed the first two videos about my lipstick project pan, I will link the introduction right here. I started out with eight. I only did eight products because, you know, I've got a lot of project pans going on right now and <laughs> I tried to keep each of them fairly curated, so 10 or under. But in the first update, I finished one product. I finished a lip liner. And now in the second update, I have two more empties, which is very exciting because that means that from now on, I only have five products remaining that I'm working with on this lipstick project pan. So I've already finished three. So things are going swimmingly so far. And I think I will talk about the first two empties to start things off on a bang. On a bang? Is that what you say? So, baby lips. This is from Maybelline, and I did show this in my recent empties video, so you may have seen this before, just not in my lipstick project pan updates. There is a tiny little bit left, but it's like broken at the top there, so whenever I try to use it, it just like slips right off. So what I'm going to do is, well, another makeup chores video, essentially, I have a bunch of different things to do. Reformulating products, putting things like this into other containers, repressing. Yes, if you love makeup chores videos, I will link this one here. I did some reorganization and stuff like that. Within the next, hopefully, few weeks, but it might be a bit longer than that just because this next month is very busy, I will have to reformulate that because, I mean, I have finished it technically, but there's more that I can use, so. I'm removing this from the lipstick product pan. I'm counting it is finished, but I'm still going to use up what's left of it. The other one is this Revlon lip butter. This one I also finished, but there's a little bit left down in there, as you can see. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I will probably combine them, honestly. Maybe I'll turn it into like a little potted lip balm. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, very excited to have finished two in one update because I just finished one in the first update. So I was even more intentional the past two months about reaching for these products. I've got two out and as you can tell, these are both hot pink. So I've got all the hot pink lip products out of the lipstick project pan. And I think I have one more hot pink lip product in general. This is from L'Oreal also. It's more of like a lip gloss. But other than that, I have no more hot pink lip products in my collection, which is excellent because I don't like them. And I used to buy way too many when I was into that shade, but now I'm not. So just happy to be getting those out. Okay, let's move on to the products that I still have in my project pan and I, measured all of these except for one. They were all like measurable. So let's see what progress I have made. Because I was mostly focusing on those two, I think I might have neglected the other ones a little bit more than I did the first two months. The first two months I was much better at reaching for all of them, but hopefully I made at least a little bit of progress on each of them. So first we've got the Revlon Mulberry Vital Radiance lip product. This one I've definitely got the most progress on out of the rest of them. However, the past few weeks, I felt like it was going so slowly, even though I was still using it quite a bit. I was just seeing less and less progress. So that was a little bit defeating, but let's see how much progress we've made. Okay, yeah, so about the same amount of progress as the first update. This is kind of hard to show. <laughs> because I'm just getting it everywhere. But let me do a little mark on here. So I'm pretty happy with that. And at this rate, you see that last little pen mark there? At this rate, if I haven't finished it by next update, for sure it'll be the update after that, which is great because I do not love this formula. But as you can tell, I am making progress on it. So I am happy about that. I probably won't dig in and get the rest of it out once I finish it because... I'll just be tired of it by then. And I've also used up so many of this exact formula, like this exact tube, but in different shades that I kind of wanna never see it again. But good progress on that one. Fingers crossed about the next ones. Judgment day. 
let's see this is the one that i'm wearing right now this is the bite lipstick in chai it's just a little baby but for whatever reason this is pretty slow going i think it's because it's quite a dark shade so it's just a little bit intimidating to reach for oh i did make some progress amazing actually pretty much just as much progress as the time before that so we're getting somewhere there there's quite a bit left so it's still going to take a while but at least we are seeing some progress <laughs> this is one of those instances where i'm like yeah i made progress yeah i like it i don't know what else to report but uh there you are okay revlon lip butter we finished that one the kiko red lipstick this one is tricky because when i wear it i love the look like this is just such a nice red shade i feel like it makes my teeth look whiter i feel like it just brightens up my whole face i've really realized this past couple months or past year that red i feel like red is my color and it really brings out my tones nicely but again it's just intimidating to reach for a bright red lipstick also because of the way that it fades you kind of need to be able to reapply it otherwise it just like looks a little bit bizarre and sometimes when i'm going out or to a party or whatever i don't even if i bring the lip product i don't end up reapplying it so i either need to get better into the habit of doing that or i just need to get used to using this only when i'm at home you know so let's see Ooh, it didn't make too much progress on that one, unfortunately. But about the same as the time before that, when I also didn't make very much progress. There we go. So just a couple of millimeters each time. I did try this as a blush one time. I really didn't like it. It didn't work very well. But I don't need to force myself to do that because I do like it as a lip product. I just need to consistently reach for it as a lip product. I do have two parties tonight, actually, so... Maybe I'll try it out for that. Although red with this eye, not really sure if that's a good combination. I was thinking of wearing this in today's video, but because of this eye look, it was like, mm, maybe not. Don't think that will go super well. Unless I decide to redo my eyeshadow, which I probably don't because I really like how it looks today. <laughs> I'm probably not going to get much use out of this. And then I have a conference next week, which I could wear red lipstick to, but I, I'm just don't see myself doing that at an academic event. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna have to try to work harder on this one. The next one is the baby lips, which as I showed you, I already finished. I'm also realizing because, you know, I'm always conscious of the time when I am filming that because I have fewer products every time, well, hopefully every time, these videos are going to get shorter <laughs> because I had eight products at the beginning and last time I had seven and then i'm going to have five you guys like shorter videos let me know but next we've got the kiko mauve lipstick this one i have not been great about reaching for i know that for a fact i don't even i try to wear these when i'm filming videos at the very least if not you know regularly throughout my life but i don't know if i've worn this in a video even recently it's a very strange kind of mauve color unique but i've realized that just because something is unique within my collection does not mean that i need it or that it belongs there or that i need to replace it once that unique product is done because if it's unique i probably don't reach for it and that's for a reason i mean there's a tiny bit of use like maybe one millimeter but that is it so interestingly this is definitely the one that i've gotten the least use out of of all of these which I guess makes sense as I say this is unique I don't have any other shades like this and I don't reach for it very much I don't think this is a flattering tone on me also so it's not like just because it's kind of weird that doesn't mean that I don't reach for it but no that is specifically why I don't reach for it so I need to work on that one some more but because I have fewer products now I can do that and the final product is this NYX soft matte lip cream I have no idea how much is left in this because it's completely opaque. Like I could hold it up to the light. I could put my phone flashlight up to it. Nothing, absolutely cannot tell whatsoever. This is for sure the oldest product out of all of these. And yet there's still, there's still product, like a good amount of product on it. It is a little bit harder to get stuff out than it was 
when I first owned it, but I really, I don't understand how it's still kicking around. And this is in the shade Istanbul. I love this, but I am worried about how long it has lasted. This is still the shade that I keep in my wristlet, so I have it with me at all times. Like even if I don't bring a designated lip product out with me, if I'm out for the day or for the evening, I always have this in my wristlet. So you would think that I would get a lot of use out of it and I do get a decent amount. And yet here it is, here it still is somehow. Out of all of these, this is probably the one that's going to last longest, even though it's the oldest. I don't understand magical products. It's like Hermione's bag. But anyways, these are the five products remaining in my lipstick project pan. So I'll do a little guess here or a little predictions. This one I'm gonna try to get this finished next time, even though that doesn't really make sense with how much I've been using over the past four months because I have fewer now. I think I'm gonna be able to put more effort into this one. So I'm going to hopefully get this one finished up. The rest of them, I just don't think it's practical to expect any of them to be done, but I'm still going to try hard to get use out of them and continue with the progress because at least I've seen progress with each of them, you know? Even if I've only reached for each of them four or five times, that's something, and that's probably more than I was reaching for them before rolling them into this project pan. And I do wanna say, cause I was initially a little bit unsure if I wanted to track these products because I've pretty much never done that before. I mean, there's been like an eyeliner or two that I've tracked, but I've never tracked to this extent where it's like, all of the products in a project I have tracked and it's gone so well because I feel like I just have such a better grasp of how this is going obviously and how much I'm reaching for products and seeing my like the visual evidence of my work on this project is very rewarding so it makes me want to do that for other products <laughs> like I tracked my Urban Decay eyeliner in my most recent video for another project pan series graveyard project pan I'll link that here because I realized how effective this was. So anyways, I'm not always gonna track my progress, but I have seen the value in doing it. So that is it. And let's see if I can talk about a book that I've been reading lately. Anyways, a book that I've been reading lately. This is Own Your Space, Attainable Room by Room, Decorating Tips for Renters and Homeowners by Alexandra Gator. First off, I will just say this is a stunning book. This is just beautiful. This is from the library. I don't own it. I don't really buy books. I don't have space for them, but it's brand new. It just came out last month. And yeah, the pictures in this, this is gonna be kind of hard to do. The pictures are so nice. Obviously it's a book about like decorating. So it makes sense. Everything would be super curated and beautiful but I have talked about it in other videos. I've been really working to curate my space this year. I started off, honestly, it was because of makeup because I wanted to curate my makeup and then it extended into like the rest of my life, my clothing and making a home that I love. So that is very much still in progress, but I follow her on Instagram and YouTube and she does a lot of like not renovations, but like redecorating people's places. And it makes such a difference. Like you don't realize how, how big a difference it makes to add some different art and a couple different furniture pieces until you watch her videos. But yeah, it's really inspired me to change. You can see that I changed those paintings a couple of months ago. And that was part of this whole, this whole project. I've got lots still to do, but I've really only taken a cursory look at this, so I look forward to diving in a bit more. But if you're looking for something that's a bit more helpful than the home edit books, which I have read, I think I've talked about on my channel, I think that this is a book that would be helpful for you. But yeah, also her YouTube videos. I just find she has a lot of good inspiration and I don't think I have like the best design skills or the best eye by any means, but I think you can definitely like learn. So that's what I'm trying to do. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this slightly shorter video or shorter version of Lipstick Project Pants because I feel like all my videos these days are over 25 minutes and this one's gonna be under 20. So 
thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed let me know if you think i will be able to finish this by next time and how your lipstick project pants are coming along and i will speak to you all next week bye guys